You're watching RTV6 Indianapolis. Now, the RTV6 Nightcast. A clash of metal and chaos on the highway. One wreck leads to another involving two charter buses filled with more than 100 high school students and their chaperones. Thanks for joining us. I'm Martha Weaver. Our big story on the Nightcast, the interstate finally cleared tonight after a harrowing stop no one expected. Erica Fly joins us live with the very latest. Traffic is moving again along I-65 after being closed for about six hours this afternoon. And two buses full of students from Wisconsin should be about back home tonight after an extra long road trip. I just saw there was a traffic jam, so I was like, oh, we're stopping. And then all of a sudden we just got hit. Six hours away from their destination, two charter buses full of teenagers came to an abrupt stop. We hit somebody and then the bus behind us hit us, so it's just kind of a lot of shaking, a lot of uh, pounding going on. There was dust that was flying everywhere from the back of the bus. The buses were carrying 103 Kewaskum, Wisconsin high school students and their chaperones. They were en route from a band and choir competition in Orlando, Florida. An accident ahead caused the buses to slow down. The second bus rammed into the back of the first, shaking up everyone on board. Just crying right away because we didn't really know what happened and we don't know like we didn't know at that time like how hurt everybody was. More than two dozen who were pretty banged up and bruised were treated at the hospital then joined the rest of the group at a staging area at the Red Cross headquarters downtown. The students were also reunited with their luggage back here at the Red Cross. They put it back onto these buses and secured their spot for a ride back home. But first they filled up on pizza, made calls back worried parents back home and some who lost their shoes in the crash got some new ones donated from the finish line. Who wants to see the new, sh the new kicks here? <laughs> and with that, they loaded up and headed out. Hoping for a smooth ride this time around. Everyone was treated and cleared to go home except for one chaperone. She had a broken leg, had to stay at the hospital. Her husband drove here from Wisconsin to be with her tonight, and her daughter, who was also on the bus, stayed here with her as well. On the Nightcast, Erica Fly, RTV6. And we sure hope they got home safely. Thanks, Erica. And the apparent cause for that collision? Well, the backup from this overturned semi in the north split. Police say the driver was going too fast for the ramp leading to I-65 North. Salvador Santian of Illinois lost control, spilling his load of steel coils. He was taken to the hospital, but his injuries are not known. Our other big story tonight, Child Protective Services has fired.